I'm Jam Jam the Viking, and you're watching Brainy News. So, the whole concept of Down in Flames started at the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020. Although it started off as like a whole different project called Class Act, and Class Act was just going to be songs compiled into one project and just titled under Class Act. It wasn't going to have any meaning in the beginning and which I thought to myself there's really no point to that just making just getting my best songs and putting it into one one project or one spot and just calling it an album because that's not really what I wanted to do and then I thought to myself what makes me go back to my the artists that I like and the albums that I like it's because those albums have a meaning they have a purpose behind it and that makes music timeless and that's really what I wanted to create with this project it has an intro and an outro and in between those two intro and outro there are five songs in total there are seven and it's just a little mixtape and it is called down in flames for two reasons um, the first reason is because a lot went in my a lot stuff went in my life when I was thinking of this project between um, just mostly losing people in my life and everything just everything was just going downhill and that's what my thought process was going through this album that down in flames was actually truly coming like happening to me. And then the second meaning behind it is the initials of Down in Flames are diff, and diff means different, so you're trying to be different, and the reason I was trying to be different in this project is because it has an intro and an outro, and they're kind of like skits, and I adapted this idea from Juice World, where on his, um, on his project, Goodbye and Good Riddance, he has an intro, and he has two skits at the end and I just kind of wanted to make this into my own little idea where I have an intro that explains kind of what's going through the project and then at the outro what explains you know, like the ending of the project so it just you have to listen to all of Down in Flames all in one you have to listen to it from the beginning to the end and that's what I want to create through my projects where you don't pick and choose, well you can pick and choose between which songs that you like but in order to grasp the concept of the album you have to take you have to go through every single song on the project and the first song is uh, well I guess the intro, it is a song in a way but it's called Home Intro and I sampled uh, a scene from Finding Dory on there and Dory just talks about finding a home because pretty much I was kind of lost and just everything that happened in my life and I just felt like it just spoke to me and I know that might sound corny but it truly did and I think that people might relate to that because everybody in life is lost at a certain point and then the next song is called Ice Cold which is pretty much the first song off of it and it's just pretty much I felt I guess numb in a way to my feelings and everything which kind of resonates with ice cold because when you're like outside and you get like numb and like the cold you're pretty much ice cold so I just kind of resonated that together and yeah I sampled Mario in the beginning where you hear here we go I sampled that in Mariposa as well and it's kind of just like my little trademark to like my little, I guess my little producer tag in a way. And it's just kind of like, I just wanted to create that and just say like, when you listen, when you hear, here we go at the beginning, you know it's going to be a good song. Uh, in saying that, my other songs without here we go are also good songs. So, but here we go is just kind of like a staple. You know that it's one of my songs when you hear the here we go on it. And then the, um... The next song on the project is called Nine Yards. 
And pretty much what nine yards meant to me is if you think about it, nine yards means kind of decently far away but also close and so it's like you can kind of touch and grasp at something but you also can at the same time. So just kind of the feeling that I, I could like, I don't know, I could just feel like I could pretty much grasp at like the end of all of this but yet I still couldn't like I was still trapped in feeling down and all of that stuff but luckily I ended up getting out of it and there is hope for everyone if you're ever feeling down you will get out of it and you will eventually be all right and although it might not be like and it might you not you might not be okay like emotionally and you might not recover from that but you will be you will be fine and it will be all good. And the third song off of the project is called Game of Secrets. And the it's pretty much just talking about like just you have secrets in your life and not many people know about them other than yourself and maybe close family members. But um, it's you just have to let those secrets out and even if they're like big secrets and emotional secrets people people like to hear those secrets and and just uh, they just want to hear their secrets and they will help you if any of the secrets are really bad and just affecting you in a way and the next song off the project is Mariposa and this is probably the it's the biggest song that it pretty much started everything because before I was on SoundCloud and I was dropping a couple projects and then I dropped Mariposa and that pretty much fueled the fire for everything up until now and which I'm really grateful for, grateful for because it, it was it was an amazing song and pretty much Mariposa is the Spanish word for butterfly and in order for a caterpillar to become a butterfly it has to evolve and change and so that's pretty much what I did in order to become to evolve I had to change my ways and everything and I'm it was it was just it, the song means a lot and um, I'm glad it was really it was received well and the next song on the project which is Broken Bridges and Broken Bridges is all about like the, the people that were in my life and they're no longer in my life and I would have had a bridge to that person but now that they're no longer in my life the bridge is kind of separated and it's broken and it's just it's gone and um, I just feel like it was just a good way to end off the project with the final song and uh, it just it spoke to me and I feel like it speaks to everyone because sometimes people leave and come into your life and that's just how it is but some of those people will impact you in a way that will always be with you and those people are the people that you will remember forever and that's just kind of how I felt. And then the outro of this project is called No Contact Outro and I called it No Contact because uh, there's there's this person who I uh, sampled from and she was pretty much talking about relationships and you can take that how it is like she's in a relationship with someone like as a boyfriend girlfriend relationship or it's where as like a friend relationship a family relationship and you no longer have contact with that person anymore either because they're not in your life or they moved away or anything where the person is no longer in your life so I just felt like that it was just a, actually a really good way just to finalize the project and just make it a complete project from start to beginning and uh, yeah I just felt it was just a nice way to finish it off and like I said just you just listen to the project from start to beginning and you'll grasp what I was trying to say through the project even though there are no lyrics 
I feel like the beats and the instrumentals just speak for themselves. And uh, yeah, you can go check out Down in Flames on every single streaming platform. Spotify, Apple Music, uh, what else is there? I guess uh, Deezer, um, Google Music, and Google Play, anything. It's, it's out there and it was released earlier this year. And uh, it's probably one of my favorite projects that I've released so far. But anyway, it has been Jam Jam the Viking on Brainy News. I'll see you guys next time.